Okay then, so now we have this recipes data available to us inside the recipes components. And that's thanks to this function up here, get static props, where we reached out to Contentful to get all of the recipe entries and we return those as a prop so we can access them down here. Now at the minute we just log them to the console. So let's take a closer look at this data. So it's an array of recipes. Each item represents a single recipe we're storing in Contentful. And if we open one of these up, it has two different properties. Fields, which is all of the different fields for that particular recipe. So the cooking time, the featured image, the ingredients, which is an array of ingredients, the method, which was the rich text area, the slug, which is gonna be the path inside the URL for this particular recipe, if we make a details page for it, the thumbnail and also the title. So these are the things we ultimately wanna output in the browser. But we also have this other thing, SYS system, and inside there is some extra metadata about this particular recipe, such as the content type, when it was created. We also have a unique ID for each one, auto-generated for us by Contentful, which is useful because we're gonna need that when we map through this array later on and other things as well. So that's what the data looks like. Now let's try mapping through that data and outputting a bit of template for each one. So to do that, let's go down inside a recipe list and we want to use the map method. So open your curly braces. We'll take the recipes array, then use the map method, which fires a function for each individual recipe, which we get access to inside that function. And then we're going to return a bit of template for each one. Now, all I'm going to do for now is just a div inside here. So let me create that and close it off. And inside the div, I'm just going to output the title. So let me say a recipe, and then remember we need to go into the fields property, which we just saw, and then we want the title property. Now, remember I also said we had this ID property right here, and we need to use that in the root element when we map through data and output a bit of template for each one. This is just basic React stuff. So we need to go into the sys property, then we need the ID property for that key. So let's say key is equal to and it's going to be recipe.sys.id. So hopefully now it's going to map through our recipes and output this div for each one. And we should see all of the titles over here, which we do. Awesome. Now, I don't want to create all of the template directly inside this component because I want to keep this component quite lean and easily manageable. So instead, what I'm going to do is create a separate component called a recipe card. And for each item, I'm going to put the templates of that item inside the recipe card. And then we can embed that right here so that for each recipe, we use that recipe card component. This also makes our project or rather our recipe card content more reusable if we want to use it somewhere else in the project later on. So let's do that. I'm going to come up here, new file, and call this recipe card.js like so. All right, so let me first boilerplate this. I'm going to say RFC for React Functional Components. And if you're using a recent version, we don't need this thing at the top, but if you're unsure, you can keep that in. And now we have our recipe card component right here. Now, what I want to do is I want to import it inside this component and also output it right here. So I'm going to change this div to a recipe card like so. Now we don't need the closing tag over here and we don't want to output the title right here, but we do still want the key, but this also needs to be self closing. Now we need to import this at the top. So let me say import recipe, oops, recipe card and it's from and we want to come out of the current directory and into the components directory. So let's say dot dot forward slash then into components and then recipe card. All right. So if we save this and preview, we're not going to see anything. But now what we can do is pass through as a prop into this the recipe. So I'll say recipe is equal to a recipe like so and then inside the recipe card we can accept that as a prop so recipe and then we can do something with it so for now let me just output the recipe title to see if this works recipe.fields.title like so save it 
and yep everything works but now we can create all of our template for each recipe inside this component it just keeps this a little neater this file and also makes this content right here more reusable all right then so let's start now to flesh out this template right here now we're going to need a few different properties from this recipe and what i'm going to do is just destructure them all from recipe.fields because they're all going to come from that recipe.fields right here so we need for example the title which is down here we also need the slog because we're going to create a link when you click on one of these recipes to a different page and we'll make that page later on but we'll need the slug for that because that's going to be the path we also need the cooking time and we want the thumbnail as well which is down here so let me destructure all of those at the top up here first of all just makes it easier when we're outputting it in the component so i'll say const and we want the title we also want the slug we want the cooking time and we want the thumbnail all right and all of those come from recipe dot fields like so so now we're destructuring all of those we can go ahead and use them inside our template down here so let's get rid of this and in fact i'm going to give this div a class name equal to card this is just so we can style these later on now inside this we're going to have a few different sections first of all we're going to have a section for the thumbnail or the featured image so i'm going to say div dot featured or you can call it thumbnail it really doesn't matter and then this later on is where the image is going to go the thumbnail all right so that's the first section the second section is for the content inside the card and that's going to include some information like the title and the cooking time but also an actions section which is for any buttons and we're going to click on one of those buttons to go to a details page for this recipe so let's create a div with a class this time of content and then inside that we'll do another div for the info so give that a class of info and we'll do the title inside an h4 so let's output the title right here oops inside the curly braces ideally and then below the h4 let's do a paragraph tag for the cooking time i'm going to say takes a prox and then we want the cooking time like so and mins to make all right so that's the information the title and the cooking time then after that i'm going to do another div with a class of actions this is for any buttons now it could be things like a favorite button if you want to favorite this or it could be a more information button so it's entirely up to you what you put in here we're just going to have one button which is a link and we're going to style this to make it look like a button later but this link is essentially going to link to a details page for this particular recipe later on so let's do that we'll do link like so and by the way we need to import that at the top if we use it so import link from and this comes from next forward slash link oops not in capitals cool all right so first of all we need to say inside this link what the href is so this is going to be something dynamic because it's going to include the slug right here so we want it to go to forward slash recipes first of all and then forward slash whatever the slug is because remember the slug file lives inside recipes so it has to be forward slash recipes first of all and i'm just going to concatenate onto that at the end the slug which we grab right here now you could use a template string if you prefer here instead i've just used concatenation really doesn't matter but anyway inside here we need an anchor tag and then inside that we can say cook this all right so if i save this now and preview we can see we get the title how long it takes and then a link that says cook this and if we click on one of these notice at the top this is the url so we get the slug up here and this is the recipe details component it's this thing right here that we're going to now they're all going to look the same at the minute if we click on this it's exactly the same we don't see that data but we'll sort this out later on but for now that is basically our recipe card created the template we want to output for each item except for this thumbnail image right here so i'm going to show you how we can do that next 